All right, let's uh, talk about two-point perspective angles. One-point perspective object is only one angle. It is at a 90 degree angle to the picture plane. Two-point perspective angles, you can have all kinds of different angles in two-point perspective. Yeah, like this one we did on the last video or a couple videos ago. Now here's a one-point perspective object that one-point perspective rectangle and it has a 90 degree angle to the picture plane. But these two, this blue one and this green, I just made those up. I have no idea what angle they are to the picture plane. And you could do that if you don't really care, if it doesn't really matter what angles they are to a picture plane, you could just make them up. It's coming to most often an aesthetic choice, but if you have something that you want to draw at a very specific angle, then um, we're gonna do that. So this one is, this object has a 90 degree corner. I can tell that because down here at the station point, that is a 90 degree corner. So it creates these two left and right vanishing points that are 90 degrees apart from each other and it creates 90 degree corners. The angle between this object and the picture plane is 45 degrees. No matter where I would draw this shape in this drawing, it is going to be a shape that is 45 degrees to the picture plane. And you can tell that because down here at the station point, if I draw a line that's straight across, this is 45 degrees to horizontal and this one is 45 degrees to horizontal. So that makes, if this is 45 degrees to horizontal, then this is 45 degrees in perspective, this angle. So all of this angles down here at the station point are true angles. You project those up and you will create dots that will draw that same angle in perspective. So if we wanted to draw something like this, Here's uh, three shapes, and they're all different angles to the picture plane. Let's see, this is a plan view. So you're looking straight down on this, and this green line is the picture plane. And this is at a 30 degree angle. This is 90, this is 60. This one is at a 45 degree angle, 90 degree corner, and that's 45 degrees. This one is 60 degrees and has a 90 degree corner, and that is a 30 degree angle. So if we wanted to draw these objects at these angles in perspective, then you would uh, simply do this. Here's your, here's, here's my station point. And I'm gonna do the middle one first. Let's do this one that's at a 45 degree to the picture plane. So if you think of this, let's make a line straight across here at the station point. I think this makes it make a little more sense. It always made more sense in my head when I thought about it, like here's horizontal. So if I draw a 45 degree angle, and draw 45 degrees here, I get a, a left and a right vanishing point. I'm just gonna make a measuring line, make it right here. So I'm making this up. I'm gonna put a little scale here. I don't know if I'll have time to use a scale on this one. We'll see how time goes. Okay, so right in the middle, um, I'm going, if I draw a line to this vanishing point, to this vanishing point, this is 45 degrees to horizontal. And this is a 90 degree corner because those are the true angles down here in perspective. 
So that's th this angle. So if I wanted to draw something that was at a 30, 60 degree angle to the picture plane, I think I'll change colors. Then I go down here to the station point and I make a 30 degree angle. And then make a 60 degree angle. And now I have a whole new right vanishing point and a new left vanishing point. I could call this one maybe 60 degree and 30 degree. It's nice to give them labels so they're different. Like this left vanishing point, I could call that 45 degree right vanishing point and left vanishing point. And colors really help also. So if I want to do another shape, using these new vanishing points. And now this is 30. And this angle is 60 in perspective because that's what's happening here. Last one. So I want this one to be 30, 60, opposite, just the opposite of this one. So we come over here, I want this side to be 30. So I'll make this a 30 right vanishing point. And this one is 60, it gets busy really quickly. This one is 60, left vanishing point. And so I draw another shape here. <gasps> uh oh. So this. 30 and this is 60 so that means over here in the perspective world that this is 30 and this angle is 60. I think I probably should leave it there because it's already getting busy and I just made uh, three corners and I know exactly what angles all of these are but to make them a particular length like these guys are all about two inches long, two inch squares. Uh, that's like a whole other thing. So maybe that should be a different one because this is gonna get very busy really quickly because we need, what do, what do we have here? Three, six vanishing points. So we're going to need to add six measuring points along this line and we've only drawn three things. So maybe that's the next one.